Film.com and the director of the Austin After Dark Film Festival. We've got an event coming up on November the 7th. Our final event of the year is Austin After Dark Film Festival Fall 2022. And at that festival, if you come join us, you're going to see plenty of content that is 30 minutes or less. Everything from horror films, horror comedy, dark science fiction, dark animation, you name it. It's going to be content that is geared towards a mature audience. Don't bring the kids, but uh, it's a great fun time for adults. Also, the very next day on the 8th, we're going to have the Austin Comedy Film Festival Fall 2022. Yes, they are films that are 30 minutes or less, but it is all purely about films that will make you laugh. Some of the comedy and, and jokes may be inappropriate for children, but it's nothing like Austin After Dark. Um, so come on down to Austin Comedy. I think you'll get a lot of giggles out of it. We also feature in both festivals, we feature screenplays and screenwriters. And one of those screenwriters who joined us today who actually has a screenplay in both. Um, Mark Wasserman. How are you, Mark? Doing fine. Thank you. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, you've been nominated. Yeah, Rough Love has been nominated for the Best Dark Comedy Screenplay Award at Austin After Dark, as well as your screenplay is an official selection at Austin Comedy. Congrats. Thank you. I'm honored. Well, let's get into it. Um, I'm the type of person that usually gives away the synopsis and gives away the end and says way too many detailed things about uh, our films and screenplays. So I'm going to allow you to put the synopsis for this story in your own words. Uh, tell us what it's about. Sure. It's a, um, it's a period piece that's set in San Francisco in the mid nineties. And it's about a painter who, um, finds himself uh, with an opportunity, he gets a commission from a big gallery, and but he, he gets creatively blocked. And the way that he decides to get out of his block is to um, hire a dominatrix to help him learn discipline. And complications ensue. Um, a love triangle uh, forms between um, himself, the dominatrix, and his girlfriend. And he finds himself sort of um, pulled by these two different women in two different directions. Wow. All right. Interesting stuff. I can see why the Austin After Dark uh, judges liked it so much. And I got to ask you creatively, uh, what, what was the decision process for saying, hey, I'm going to sit down and write this story? Were you inspired by a particular event or characters? Or I like the happened? idea of, of this guy um, being pulled in two directions and in the script, I was sort of exploring this idea of, of power and lack of power and how both can be um, enticing, um, you know, dominant and submissive. And so I kind of wanted to sort of explore that in a script where this this guy um, has these two sort of urges um, that these women pull out of him. That was the, the interest initially. All right. So. When you come up with your characters, are you usually envisioning someone that already exists, like an actor or something like that, or a person, or are you kind of writing like a blank slate so that, um, you know, maybe a potential production company can cast it how they want to? Um, originally, it was uh, a blank slate, but then as I started to write more, I, I, I did start to um, imagine uh, various actors. In fact, I ran into one of them at a, a flea market here in LA, and he seemed interested, and then... Um, never heard from him which is a common, <laughs> a common occurrence out here unfortunately um so yeah. yeah it started off with a blank slate and then i started to imagine faces well you know i that's kind of people do flake it happens that's a part of the industry um but you know as long as they serve the purpose of, <laughs> of being this character every every actor has an agent so reach out to them and you'll definitely get their attention um yes. What do you have planned for the future? What's next after this? Uh, are you planning to go into production on something like this, or are you going to continue writing? I'm going to continue writing. I actually um, did finish a film not too long ago called Thrilling Love. Um, I guess I have that word love in, in a lot of my titles. Um, and it's been kind of making the rounds of festivals, so I'm not too keen on making another short. I'm, I'm back to, to uh, writing scripts again. Gotcha. Well, this has been great. Appreciate you talking to us about uh, the screenplay. Is there anything else you want to add today? Uh, no, I'd just like to uh, thank the judges at Austin After Dark and the Austin Comedy Festival. I feel very grateful for being selected. And um, yeah, thank you. All right. Appreciate your time today. Thank you for the kind words and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you soon. Okay.